Once again, it's Dan Mervin and Gun Food for Thought. Today, what I'm going to do is talk about duty holsters versus concealment holsters, what I consider to be one of the best duty holsters out there on the planet. Now, a lot of you might argue with me. A lot of you might say, oh, well, I can't afford that. It, it's extremely expensive. This is just my view of what it is. Don't really and truly take it with an absolute grain of salt, but it's something like it that it's something that you should indeed invest in. Now, there are some copies of it out there for about 20 or 30, maybe 40 bucks. You can find them all over the place. This particular one is the one I use, okay? And that's all there is to it. It's a Safari Land model 6280, okay? Now, you can get options for it like a Sentry Switch. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. You can also get the protective hood for it, all kinds of different things. Okay, and that's what makes it better than almost any other holster out there on the planet, is it's adaptable. You can upgrade it to almost any, any way you wish. Okay. A lot of guys, when they go out and they do security work or some kind of work where they have to carry a firearm, they end up with something like this. Now, don't get me wrong, the Finling Stealth Operator is a great holster. It really, really is. But it's not for duty. There's nothing protecting the back of the weapon at all. It's not built for that. It's built for one thing and one thing only. It is built for concealment. Okay, Somebody can sneak up behind you, take your weapon, especially if you're not paying attention, and hurt you or someone else very badly with it. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, it's just a little bit too dangerous, and it's not worth really and truly going through the security risk, going through the problems that you can face when someone takes your weapon and harms someone else with it. It's just not worth it. Now, over here is the Safari Land Model 5378. Okay, once again, this is a concealment holster. Fake firearms in it. This is a concealment holster. It is not built for duty. I never carried this holster at all for duty. I would carry it for open carry in between a, a place of work or a place of home or something like that. I wouldn't use it for any kind of a duty purpose. It's just not built for that. Because, once again, it's just too easy to get the pistol out. And it's too dangerous to use it. Okay, at least as far as I'm concerned. A lot of you might say, oh, well... This holster is way too expensive versus the other two. Not necessarily. I have seen ones like it out on the internet for about 20 or 30, maybe 40 bucks. Okay, you have to look all over the place in order to be able to find them, though. But I went with the original. There's a reason that I went with the original. It's because I trust the name. Okay, it's kind of like what people do when they go to buy an iPhone. Or people, what people do when they go to buy a Samsung. It's the same thing. I like certain name brands and certain th certain ways of doing things, okay? I'm not saying that you have to. I'm not saying that you have to go out and spend a hundred and something dollars. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is you need to find a holster that you can afford that works either a lot like this or has a thumb snap on the rear end of it, kind of like the Pro 3 that I've got, okay? It keeps you safer in the long run, and it also keeps everybody else around you safer, okay? And it also keeps you from getting sued and keeps your, your company from getting sued. That's the main reason that I recommend a holster like this versus a holster like this for duty. Now, I'm not saying these two holsters are terrible, terrible holsters for this thing from it. You've seen me wear this before in the past. You've seen me wear this one before in the past. And there's a reason for it. They're really, really good holsters, but they're just not built for duty. I wear this when I when I go to duty or something similar. If you all have any questions or comments or if you'd like to know a little bit more, you can check me out on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash gun food for thought. You can also check me out on Instagram at gun food for thought. And guys, I still have that Patreon account. Nobody's giving me love. You'll have a great day.